Hi, my name is Sally Richmond and I'm from Monash University and the title of my presentation is Artificial Intelligent Voice Assistance in a Parenting Program. Okay, I work with a young boy, let's call him Luke. He's seven years old and he attends his local primary school. He's always enjoyed school, but uh, recently his friends have been telling him to go away and now he spends most playtimes wandering around on his own and on the verge of tears. Luke goes home and tells his parents about how he's been feeling. His mum, she means well, um, but she doesn't like to see him upset. She says, oh, Luke, don't worry about it. There's plenty of other people to play with. You'll be okay. His dad says, oh, Luke, that used to happen to me all the time when I was at school. You've got nothing to complain about. Now, you might be thinking, that doesn't sound like such a big deal. And you'd be right if it only happened, you know, every once in a while. But for Luke, this happens all the time. And as he grows, he learns that he can't trust his feelings. He learns to keep them to himself. Now, fast forward to Luke as a teenager, and he's at risk of dropping out of school. He's getting into fights all the time, and he's fallen a long way behind in his schooling. He also doesn't want to talk to anyone about the way he's feeling. Now, unfortunately, Luke's story is not uncommon. We know that one in seven Australian children have a mental health disorder. We also know that parents play a key role in their children's mental health. There are a number of parenting programs that have been designed to help parents in this way, but they don't always work. And that's not really so surprising when you think about it. Parenting is a tough job <laughs> and there's a lot of criticism out there. So it's not really surprising that when parents attend these groups, they don't want to share vulnerable emotions. They might not want to ask questions. They might feel worried about feeling judged or embarrassed. So what I would like to know is, can we use technology to engage parents more in these types of programs? So if you've ever asked Siri a question, hey Siri, what time is it? It's 7.55 p.m. Then you've used the type of technology I'm talking about. I'm working with some voice tech experts to design an app to help parents become more emotionally responsive to their children. Parents can use the app in the privacy of their own homes to learn these new skills. I really believe in the potential of voice technology to support parents in this way. And I believe that we can change the story for the better for people like Luke. Thank you.